Hi there. I'm going to have to ask you to buckle up for this one because it's going to be a, an interesting ride. Um, it started a few days ago with um, the exploration of a subject that I have found fascinating for a, a very long time, and that's infrastructure. The uh, as, as the title of this blog post uh, would suggest, it's the structure beneath the structure. Uh, those things that physically make it possible for us to multiply our efforts or amplify our efforts and uh, the important role that plays and the fact that too often we take we take that for granted and originally it was going to be just a single blog post on that subject and and i wrote it that way and everything seemed to make a lot of sense uh, with the exception of the fact that i didn't publish it right away uh, which, which generally tells me that there's something else going on in, in the deep recesses of my mind that's preventing me from doing that. Usually it means that there's something else that needs attention, something else I need to focus on. Well, after the weekend, it occurred to me uh, what that something else was. And, uh, and that is our failure, a natural failure to recognize the important role of infrastructure and to confuse the important role it plays in making everything we do possible. Um, taking that for granted and ignoring it in, in the erroneous belief that we are capable of achieving that kind of high performance on our own without without the benefits of infrastructure or structure or policies or procedures or systems or any of the other important things that, that we need in order to give us the safety net we require to do great things, to, uh, to perform at a very high level, sometimes above and beyond what we believe our capabilities to be. Um, and that one blog piece became two, and uh, I'm still not 100% sure if I've given it the time and, and uh, energy and created the explanation necessary. And, and let me explain that because it may seem a bit odd. Um, I've discovered that there are a lot of people who choose not to acknowledge the important role infrastructure plays in high performance work. Um, those people believe with a, an almost perfect faith that they're capable of achieving the same level of performance without all the work that's been done by everybody that's come before us or by even by ourselves in creating the, the systems, policies and procedures that, that it takes to run um, a high performance organization and, and the, to deliver service at world class levels. The problem is that when they're, when they're naked, when they've found themselves without that infrastructure, uh, if they move to a different place where it doesn't exist and they're left on their own devices, many times, uh, their performance doesn't square with what they would have been capable of if that structure existed. Hope that's making sense. I've seen it very often and, and all too often. Um, the consistency is alarming. Uh, the consistency in, in ignoring the infrastructure and its importance um, The problems that occur or that walk hand in hand with ignoring um, all the work that's been done to enhance or improve whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. So in the, in the accomplishment of great things, of, of doing good work, uh, worthwhile work, work that's worthy of being done and done well, uh, it's important to recognize that, that the policies, procedures, systems, structure that's been created to make that work possible is important uh, and it's important to acknowledge. Uh, 
maybe it's just a function of humility and recognizing that, that we didn't do all of this on our own and that, that uh, perhaps that level of performance requires more uh, than what we're capable of doing on our own. Whatever it is, it's worth considering. And uh, one of the reasons that I wanted to go ahead and, and create these two uh, blog posts on structure, infrastructure, parts one and two. Um, in the meantime, stay well, stay safe, stay sane, uh, stay home, and take care. <laughs>